I'm on State Route 3 in Indiana, and I literally just stepped over a possum's tail. Just the tail. It was all curled up like, it looked like Richard Simmons' autograph. Anyway, ladies, I understand if you leave your purse in the car, but how does a possum forget its tail? I was wondering why cars were stopping. There's three turkeys trying to get hit by, I think those are turkeys, just trying to get hit by cars. What are you? Oh, now you decide to fly, okay. There's just something about a log cabin in the country. How pretty is that? So it just started to rain. Rain is never any fun to walk in. Hmm. Oh shit. And apparently someone is hunting. Hopefully they're hunting. Cause that was definitely a gunshot. Today got real crappy real fast. Hi there little buddies. I wish I could be a cow and not care about the rain. That'd be wonderful. What's up y'all? Maybe filming a um a video in the bathtub is not not the best idea. We'll see if I get a bunch of views and I know you're all a bunch of sick individuals. But anyway, um, today went from good to bad to good again. So started off really good. Um, weather was good. Um, temperature was perfect. Um, I made it to Hartville, Indiana and uh, a couple was eating a uh, watermelon out of the back of their truck, just like cutting it up on the tailgate. And they're like, you want some watermelon? I was like, I'm not gonna say no to that. So I talked to them for a little bit. It's always neat hearing other people's stories. And uh, at this point, life is still good. I was about 17 miles in when um, it started uh, raining and the rain just saturates you. My poncho wouldn't fit over my bag. Um, the road went from like a six foot socially distanced shoulder, which is fine. That's plenty of room off the, off the side of the road to three foot. And of course everybody's sliding all over the place on the road. Like the one guy hit the brakes and slid, uh, it was at an intersection actually. And, uh, it just scared the crap out of me. And then two people finally crossed the white line that had not happened yet. One was an older lady. I don't even think she realized she crossed over the white line. The other was uh, a young girl texting, not paying a bit of attention. I'm just like, uh, people pay attention. Um, so I'm starting to go, okay, Greg, what part of this is safe? You know, like you're gonna be walking in the dark in an hour. So I did like five miles um, in the rain. So I got my miles in for the day. I was at about 22 miles questioning like, Greg, this is not safe. Like you told everybody you were gonna be safe. So I was like, okay, just humor me. Get on and see if there's like a lift available, right? So I checked it out on my app and um, it was $100. And uh, then it said no cars available. I was like, perfect. So I, that no longer tempted, right? And that's when I was really uh, forced to confront uh, two things. First, why am I doing this? And two, what are the rules? So I guess the why would be I'm 38, I'm not married and I don't have kids, okay? Now I know this is like a scapegoat, but I really believe in my heart of hearts that Survivor is the reason why I've never been able to start a family and like do all those things because in order to like get married and have kids and all that, you, you should be able to dedicate and devote yourself entirely to you know your wife and your kids, right? Like that's just the right thing. but. I don't have any closure with the survivor stuff and that I really believe has held me back. I know that sounds crazy. You guys well, don't have, you don't have to understand it. And I know that that sounds like a like a crappy excuse, but it's 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 just my life. You know, I'm just being honest. That's how I feel. So I'm sitting here editing this video and I'm like, I don't know if I like the way that came across. Uh, basically, I think what I'm trying to say is it's difficult for me to move on and set new goals when I haven't gotten past uh, a long-standing one. Does that make sense? Like, if you invest so much of your time into something, 
like how do you just give up on it you know what i mean like i just can't <laughs> and the sad thing is like even if jeff probes you know like looked me in the eye and said greg i would never put you on in a million years i wouldn't believe him you know like like for me there's really like there's two options the way i see it and i'm probably too persistent for my own good but it's either um get on or the show um, quits airing and then you don't have a choice, then you have to move on, <laughs> but yeah. So that's that part. Um, the other part is the are the, uh, the rules. So no one's making me do this, you know? Um, the rules are basically, they're based on my conscience. You know, I, I guess that's the nicest way to put it because the reality is, yeah, I could get rides and hitchhike and fly or, you know, hop trains or whatever, you know, I, I could do any of that. There's nothing saying that I, I can't, right? So um, right when I clicked off my lift, a, a couple pulled over and they're like, uh, like, are you okay? And I was like, uh, I'm borderline okay, but about to not be okay at the rate I'm going. And um, they were heading to Columbus, Indiana. Uh, I'm estimating about eight miles out. I had already gotten my miles in, so um, I felt comfortable about that and they had a baby in the car and his name was Isaiah, just like my godson. So I was like, okay, Greg, just roll with it. So while I was in the car, I was talking to her and I, I said, you know, I knew I would have to confront this eventually, but like, let's say I'm in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma. There's not gonna be a motel every, you know, 20 miles basically. Like today, you know, I'd gone, what, 22 miles and I was still like eight miles out for the next closest motel. So, Let's say I'm in Oklahoma and it's 60 miles between hotels. And hotels, by the way, are like my saving grace right now. They are a godsend. They make me feel safe, secure, um, and that's important, right? So let's say like I book a hotel like three nights in a row at one place. Do if a, if a Lyft or an Uber isn't available to go back and backtrack, then like do I walk back 30 miles and then forward 30 miles? Like, I don't know. I guess we'll determine that when we get there, but I know eventually at some point I'm going to run into a wall where it's like, okay, Greg, you're in the middle of nowhere. There's no hotel. What are you going to do? And this is why I wanted someone to come with me. So I would have that safety net, but no. And I guess I'll just have to figure that out because the one thing that I've been consistent with this whole time is like safety first. I just have to be safe. That's, that's the main thing. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'm putting the miles in, I'm putting the hours in. Yeah, believe me, I'm sore as crap. <laughs> um, so I'm not really worried about that part, but um, we ended up, me and this couple, we went to, and their kid, we went to uh, McAllister's and uh, they treated me to dinner. I, I tried they, I tried to pay, but they were just like, I shouldn't say I tried, I offered, but they were amazing. They were just such a sweet couple. They were fostering a kid and you know, they prayed for me and all that fun stuff. And it, like, that mean that really means a lot to me. I know you guys, you, I, I see your messages. I'll go through and I'll start um, responding and liking them. I, ju I just haven't had time. But I really do appreciate like all the like prayers and thoughts and just the kind words. And um, it really means a lot to me. I, I promise it does. So anyway, um, I'm safe and sound in a bathtub right now. It's a newly remodeled Super 8. Woo! Um, tomorrow is an easy day. I believe it's only maybe like 18 miles to Nashville, which is like a little touristy kind of town. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I believe I have two friends that said they're gonna come out, maybe we'll do dinner or something, which will be really exciting because yeah, that'll be nice. So anyway, um, life is crazy, but uh, I'm safe and sound and I feel pretty good. The bottom of my feet, not so much. Shoulders, not so much, but like my knees and my ankles feel amazing, which is shock. I should knock on wood. That's a bad tub. Uh, that's a toilet. Uh, I should knock on wood though, because like I brought four knee braces with me. Now, for those of you that are keeping score here, that means I only have two knees. I don't need four knee braces. So I'm really happy with like how my body's holding up. But um, yeah, wish me luck. See you guys. Anybody's missing a shoe. I found it. Good news, guys. I found the matching pair. 